Yo, that's so cool! I learned to dance. Should we play characters? No. Should we like really? Okay. Before we jump into reacting to Stray Kids, who we love, we wanted to let you know that we were able to. We wanted to let you know that we were able to film and edit this video thanks to our Patreon. Since we are unable to monetize any of our React videos uploaded to this channel, it is our Patreon that keeps us running, growing, and improving. <gasps> oh, this was the one I had trouble with last time. That's what you get when you're distracting a friend instead of memorizing your lines. Go off, Emma, go off. <laughs> I'm protesting. We have a lot of interesting and exclusive content uploaded to our Patreon, including uncut reactions to this video, Japanese reactions to videos of things that we react to, <laughs> and live performances and more. The full list of exclusive videos is pinned in the comments below. If you enjoy our content, we would really appreciate it if you could support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash react to the K. Joining our Patreon is completely optional. You can also support us by leaving a like and comment on this video. Let's, Let's get, get to reacting. reacting. You are now reacting to the eight member boy group Stray Kids and their 2020 release Backdoor. Backdoor is about unity and celebration. The member Felix explains that the meaning of the song expresses that anyone from anywhere who knocks on Stray Kids' back door are always welcome at any time. Wait, hold up. They say that you can knock on their back door anytime. Well, my only question is, what is the address? <laughs> <laughs> the album Backdoor is from, called In Life, paints out them realizing their true potential and facing the difficulties of life at their own pace and with their own style. Now they hope to continue to challenge the world they live in and spread their messages through their music even further. The song is choreographed by Sienna Lale, Na Tehun, Shim Kyu Jin, Pak Kyung Sok. Yay! Yeah. This song was composed by Hot Sauce and three of the Stray Kids members, Chungbin, Bing Chan, and Han, also known as Three Racha. <laughs> Three racha? Why is that funny? <laughs> oh, that's really good. That's really funny. Sir racha. Three good job. racha. Sorry, wait, I don't know why. That's like the best thing I've heard this week. Three, two, one. His skin just looks so good. Oh, that was interesting reverb. Oh, I like that. Okay. You better funk. Ooh. All right. It's a pretty, pretty sick groove. Definitely. Triplets! Big ambience. And his voice. Oh, his voice is so sweet! Oh! Yo, that's so cool! Oh! That was such a creative beat. Deep drop. Oh, and the song is called Backdoor. It's <laughs> like uh, nice traveling steps. Yep. West Side Story. Uh huh. There are a lot of um, like natural percussive sounds in the back, like clicking. Oh my God, like, they're flow. Kind of like non diegetic sounding. Pretty. The voice is so smooth. Mm -hmm. He's so relaxed. Wait. Da 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 da. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. This is like very classic. Dun, dun, dun. Um, EDM. 
Yay, it's the door on the other side. Yeah, I never realized that, that they switched sides. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I like that he's sticking to this range of his voice. I call that tasteful auto-tune. I know there might be different opinions. Church bells. Horns in the back. Sir, who told you your voice could be that low? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh. finally the timbre oh. changes. Oh. That's excellent. Oh. Hey. Damn, that uh. was so hard. Yeah, it's the energy for me. There's so many like traditional jazz steps in here. Yeah. Oh, I'm really glad they brought that back. Wow. I need to listen to more Stray Kids. You wanna come in? Yes! yes sir! Yes! Sir. Wow. I love it. I love it. That what was so good. What made it so good? <laughs> you wanna start? Well, you had me at the message. I mean, unity and acceptance. That's what we're going for. Oh, it's Stray Kids is such a unique sound. Oh my gosh. Also, can we please talk about this mullet? I don't like mullets in general. I do like Felix. Do I like mullets on Felix? <laughs> I am torn. Big question of 2020. What would you say is the musical mullet of this piece? Musically, it was rather interesting. I liked the layering that they had within the track yes, um, each time, which I thought was really cool, uh, how they build and, and take down things. Oh my goodness. Well, I know you talked a lot about the guitar. I mean, that, that was definite. I, I definitely love that. The smoothness in the vocals, and I think it was like, I mean, I don't speak Korean, but the um, not over enunciating, I guess, like some lines were definitely just more smooth, you know, wasn't it? It's nice to listen to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice to listen to. I I get drawn so easily to good hooks. Mm. I think the the best way to catch my attention or to catch my ear is to have a good hook and good energy. Those two things make great music. And so there were so many moments of this song where my I was just bouncing to the bouncing to the music just because the energy was driving so much and the hooks were so catchy, and oh, I'm speechless. That was so good. <laughs> so, the beginning, that electric bass, like, riff, boop, boop, ba -dum, do, do, I really felt like 80s funk, and then, like, there's this one scene where they're, like, in this alley, and they're all wearing, like, these leather jackets, and it made me think of Michael Jackson Bad, which I think is 80s, but, like, I felt like the visuals went along with, like, the beats themselves, because I feel like, Funk was a high, like it was mainstream in the 80s and like those were the things people were wearing, this is how they were dressing and I really liked that. And I liked how that specific like funk beat was used throughout all of the verses and at the ending. I love some good text painting, whether it's in dance or in the lyrics, ha, <laughs> text painting. So there was the bridge section where he, uh, someone said like, it's my fantasy or whatever. Whenever you bring that, like you take the bass away and you make it more like echoey or whatever, to me that's very like fantasy-esque. So that works. Um, the knock, knock, knock. I uh, yeah. I love I that. that. I, uh, I thought it was kind of funny. At one point, he did say like, "All I hear is fanfare," so I was like, "Boy, I have not heard any trumpets <laughs> or any fanfare." Um, hear the bells, and you have bells ringing. Like sometimes when you like watch a dance, and then you can literally put any song on top of it, and it works. It makes me a little sad. Like I want it to be like somehow unique to the song in a way. I just like that more. Or like if you have lyrics and like they're unique to what's going on in the music, that's really nice. That's very, very nice. Pause. Yeah, just right off the bat, what moments would you say are your favorites? I love the, the, the rotating door that they had going on. It was really creative. I haven't seen anything like that before. So like very impressionable. Yeah, when you first see it, it makes you giggle even. Like it's, it's, it's almost funny. Like it's like, you know, they commit to this idea that's like, it could be so silly. Like I can imagine like two friends being like, you imagine if we were like rotating doors, like, <laughs> like, like seriously. And then they try it. And then putting that in like this song that is just so full of swag. It's mm -hmm. just, 
it's great. It's a great, like, risky idea to yeah. put in, you know, but I they committed to it. And so it's memorable and it really sticks with you and it's fun and you want to try it. You're like, I want to do that. Like, that looks like fun, you know. Damn, I've, I have that. That was my first time seeing it from top to bottom. <laughs> Honestly, for me, it's just me, but I, I find the. <laughs> that one, that part a bit cheesy and like a bit funny. That's why I couldn't. I stop love it. Laughing. I personally love this part. Yeah. Because of because of not how not, aggressively that was. <laughs> but that's that's like stray kids choreo like yeah. brand. Like you mm. have to be aggressive. They have to. They always match the energy of their songs. Right, I feel. right. I mean, I'm sure every group does that. Mm -hmm. But you know, stray kids songs are very loud and very mm. grr, very raw. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very yeah, aggressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I love it because every time they do that part, maybe except for the last one. There's like, there's so much going on. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. how every time they do this, the, the, the formations were interesting because that's why I was watching so many covers where people are just doing it yes. alone. That's why I couldn't get like the full experience. But like after seeing that, like I get, I get it now. Like the swinging doors. <laughs> yeah, like they had going through like different members holding up yes, like the and then spinning. Yeah, I love that. and I then love like that. one by one, kind of mm -hmm, going mm -hmm. through like the tunnel and stuff like that you mentioned throughout some things that you saw this choreography being inspired by what what would you say are all the things and what moments specifically oh yeah there were um quite a few traditional jazz steps that were incorporated into the dance the whole time uh i i wish i could remember exactly what some of them were called there was like the suzy q um there was the wait what's what's the what's the one where you kick and you go back down what's that one called i forget Kick and go back down. Yeah, or like like Charleston. Oh yeah, the Charleston. <laughs> they threw then they threw some like more current jazz steps in there, like more um, athletic ones. Yeah, they had the finger wag. They would like jump on um, you know, very important notes. You know, they just like hey, just like Broadway kind yeah, of. Yeah, it was know? very swanky, very Fred Astaire. You know, so it definitely took a lot of inspiration. We saw some West Side Story esque looking like mambo moments yeah. where they were facing off. So it was, it was really it was really fun. To watch and the energy just kind of like swung the whole time. I really like this choreo because of like the way just things are moving around mm -hmm. and it works for me. And the thing with them was their subunits weren't like uh, half the people were going off screen but like half the people are actually still in the back yes, doing, doing subtle something. movements mm -hmm. that that like don't clash with the people in front doing like the main part. So that was pretty cool. And they I feel like with the choreo, this choreo, yeah, yeah, yeah. they make you see the music. I don't know if that makes sense. Yes. Like, yes. like, like the, the funky parts. The funky exactly. parts, yeah, and the, the little jump skip. All the hop, moves like kick, hit the yeah. beats, hit the melody, hit that, everything. Yes. You you see them. You don't just hear the music, mm -hmm. you see the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not gonna be able to get that motive out of my head. The oh, that one? Yeah. Oh, actually, what what really? Yeah, I'm not gonna get the. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I think that oh, yeah. that mm -hmm. texture, that timbre, just got me. It's a really but yeah. The opening one is very good too. It's a good combination of sounds too. I feel like there's like the bell sound and also the hit of it mm -hmm. combined to give a really nice like. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. yeah. It's also your instrument, so. Yeah. Yeah. So go bass. Yeah, go bass. Yeah, what about that lick do you feel like made it so catchy? Was it the hit of it, the sound of it, or rhythm? It's just kind of in your face. It just kind of it just kind of starts off so strongly with that. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like the the phrasing of it with even though I mean there was syncopation I think built into the lick, jumping registers gives a syncopation to it even if it's not dynamic. Like if I go boom pop like that one up there it definitely has a lot bigger hit and being on that like E of the beat makes it kind of like hit out harder and like boom bum boom bum you know mm. you can still like make a groove even if it's technically dun 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 like totally different. It Strigas just has such a unique sound from everything else I hear and I like that I like that that it's very unique it doesn't kind of fit just in idiom for pop. Yeah. I don't know, just the funky bass layered on. Funky bass is not new that we've heard, but like... Oh, I did like the bass. The so nice. The bass was cool. Uh, I especially like, I don't know who, was pink hair Felix? That is Hyunjin. No! Oh. Cut, cut, cut that part out. I don't know any of their names. Hyunjin. Hyunjin? <gasps> Hyunjin, yeah. Hyunjin, I really like his, the timbre of his voice rapping. It has a lot of energy, but it doesn't seem like anything's forcing its way to be like unhealthy. It just sounds like he has a lot. He, he has a lot of rhythmic energy. Off. I love their little usage of the. Uh, 
chorus. Like, boom, 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 boom. I mean, like, that's I'm sorry, just, could you do that concert, one more time so for us, Henry? So boom, 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 boom. Anyway, go live. They're all about spicy, spice, right? This one, I wasn't really feeling the spice. It was more like flavor bomb of umami, like a bunch of meaty. Umami. Just, oh, oh. You ever had like roasted eel? Yeah. Oh my god, that's exactly like, this is oh mm, just like buttery and exploding with umami. The texture is just right, uh, and it just makes you want to dance. I don't know. Whenever I eat unagi or I want to eat eel, I want to dance like that. I need it to the man, wanted to say, hey, ma, na, na, got any grapes? 